It's the magic of math here, and today we're talking similar triangles. Here's our math question today. Right triangle JAZ has a base of 5 centimeters and a height of 8 centimeters as shown. We're asked which of the following pairs of dimensions could represent a triangle that is similar to triangle JAZ. We're given four pairs of dimensions. Here's where you're going to pause the video, do your best work and make your answer choice, and then come back and hit play to see mine. Good luck. Welcome back. So once again, let's review that we have right triangle JAZ that has a base of 5 centimeters. So JZ is our base with a dimension of 5. And then we have a height right here, a height of 8 centimeters. So side AJ is the height. Now we're going to look and consider these four dimensions to determine which figure would increase right here and make a similar triangle. We got to understand our definition of similar first. So when we say similar, similar triangles have corresponding angles that are congruent and corresponding sides that are proportional. Since we're given side lengths, and that's all we have to determine, we only have one angle, we don't know what the other angles are, we're going to use sides and we're going to use that to determine if they're proportional. So we're going to work on proportionality here. So let's take answer choice A and use base of 9 centimeters. So it would increase from a base of 5, and the other triangle would have a side length or a base that's 9 centimeters. And then a height from 8 would increase to 12 centimeters. And now we need to determine if these are similar triangles. So we're going to use the idea of proportionality to do this. We're going to set up a proportion. So our first ratio is going to be 5 to 9. And is that equal? to our second ratio, 8 to 12. To determine if this is a proportion, we're going to use cross product property. So we're going to first multiply across 5 times 12, which is 60. Then 9 across again, 9 times 8. And is that equal? No. 8 times 9 is 72, not equivalent to 60. Therefore, we can eliminate, eliminate answer choice A. All right, let's move on, clear our, our workspace, and look at B. So now we're going to go to a base of 8 centimeters from 5. We're going to increase to an 8 centimeter base, and our height is going to go from 8 centimeters to 11 centimeters. Let's write our proportion. Our first ratio is 5 to 8. Our second ratio, 8 to 11. We're going to use cross product property to determine if there's a proportional relationship here. So 5 times 11 is 55, and is that equal to, cross 8 times 8 is 64. 55 does not equal 64, therefore we can eliminate answer choice B. All right, let's clear our workspace and look at answer choice C. Now we have a base of 10, so we're going to go from 5 centimeters to a 10 centimeter base, and we're going to have a height of 8 centimeters. 8 to 8 centimeters, no change in height. And let's determine if this is a proportional relationship. So our first ratio is going to be 5 to 10, and we want to know is that equal to the second ratio, 8 over 8? Cross product property, 5 times 8 is 40. Cross 10 times 8 is 80. 40 does not equal 80, therefore we eliminate answer choice C. All right, let's hope it's answer choice D, but let's check our work first. Clear our workspace. Base is going to go from 5 to 15 centimeters. Our height is going to go to 8 to 24 centimeters. And here is our proportion. First ratio, 5 to 15. Is that equal to our second ratio, 8 to 24? And now cross product, 5 times 24 is 120. Cross 15 times 8 is also 120. It checks out. 120 equals 120. So therefore, the pair of dimensions that would represent a similar triangle is answer choice D. And there you have it. That's how you determine similar triangles. Thanks for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you have a great day and come back soon.